who they say used a homemade gun. The attack stunning the nation with some of the strictest gun control laws in the world. Abe was Japan's longest serving leader when he resigned in 2020, but was still considered very influential in the country. World leaders U.S. alliance. Taking a closer look, what did Japan's former prime minister do to anger China? And how does it play in countering the regime's threat? We spoke with Grant Newsham, senior fellow of Japan Forum for Strategic Studies and director of One Korea Network, to find out how that... China Inc. controls 80 to 90 percent of the market. And who is funding China's renewable energy industry? So this company is not a private enterprise, but an institution controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. So what implications does a Chinese Communist Party controlled solar industry mean to America's energy independence and national security? That means we we lose our energy independence. That also means we'll be totally dependent on China for the majority of our clean energy. And if we do nothing, it's scary. Welcome to Zay is an inherently risky enterprise that requires enormous investment across many years as production aren't cost efficient until the project reaches a large scale. Rapid technological changes means that hundreds of millions can go up in smokes as yesterday's innovation becomes obsolete. That said, how did the Chinese companies manage to outperform their competitors globally? I asked the former Under Secretary of State for the Trump administration, Keith Kroc, this question. Mr. Kroc was responsible for economic growth, energy, and environment during the last administration. Thank you, Mr. Kroc, for being with us today. Thanks so much, Simona. I appreciate uh, being here. Okay, so it seems that solar cell manufacturing is not an easy business. Most of the startups don't make it and there's a constant flux of companies going out of business. What is the biggest reason for that? No, you're right, Simone. 250 firms that have entered the PV industry globally, and there's been 150 that have exited. Uh, and the bloodletting is worse if you look at second and third generation technologies like thin film. 27 of the 34 startups went belly up. And the reason is simple. Uh, China Inc. has come to dominate the solar cell uh, manufacturing business and it's been through a 20-year set of systematic non-market state policies uh, which includes subsidies uh, forced labor state financing IP theft and then also unlimited amounts of capital uh, thanks to the government